What's up, you guys? What's up, divas and divos? What's up, everybody? It's time to do this week's show. It's time to get it popping. We gonna look real cute on a budget. I'm working on those skills, y'all. I'm working on them. But what's up, you guys? I hope you all are having like a great day. It's Friday over here. Don't know what day this video gonna go up, but it's Friday. So with that being said, we're gonna enjoy ourselves. So anyway, I worked with this company probably like three, four times, probably like four, not too many. They are called Miss Lynn. And when I said they are affordable, they are cheap, girl, they are cheap. Like, look, don't feel like you're gonna go to the website. You're gonna be like, I'm gonna get me one of those long 30 inch wigs for $50. No, I mean, you could go and get one, but it's not gonna be human hair and you won't be getting it for their website. Miss Lynn does have affordable wigs. On a scale of one to 10, what would I rate them? So let's just say this. If you are a beginner and you're on a budget, girl, but you know how to take care of things, you know what I'm saying? Then for that type of person, I would say it's like a, a seven and a half to an eight. But you, if you like one of those, how do you say this? Bougie type of bees. You know, bougie women, bougie, not on a budget, but just bougie, but you really is on a budget, but you know. Then this might be like, probably like a, a six. I said, sometimes you splurge. If you got you a nice collection or you want to start a collection, then honey, you can add Miss Lynn to your collection because they are more on the affordable side. And it's always nice to have affordable, mid affordable, expensive and over the top. I did get this easy wig and I, I do think like these wigs are priced cheaper. I didn't say it was on their website. I'm just saying in my opinion, if I was a wig maker and I was making a tea part, it would be really cheap because like where else you're going to part it but in the middle. Okay. You guys already know what I got going on here. It's a tea part. We're going to jump into this and we're going to see how the wig comes first. And then, you know, I will, you know, do you the rest. It's creeping up on me This frostbite gets deep into my bloodstream Just trying to make the most of it Babe, I miss your body You make some kind of fire within me It's almost like it's burning through my skin Make myself the warmer when you're near Whenever you need, come on close. I wanna be, I wanna be by your side. I wanna be by your side. Come on close. Get under my skin, give me a piece of your mind. Just for a while, stay by my side. I'm hoping for some brighter days. Cause I'm falling in the snow, it's getting me deep You make some kind of fire within me It's almost like it's burning through my skin Make myself the warmer when you're near Whenever you're near Come on December gets darker, let me know when you're home Cause you're lighting a spark in me It's pretty lonely, I get so lonely So stay by my side Come on close Cause I wanna be, I wanna be by your side I wanna be by your side Come on close Get under my skin, give me a piece of your mind all right you guys so let's get into this quick tutorial at least i'm gonna make it as quick as possible so as you guys see i went ahead and put the wig on and i'm just gonna go ahead and just cut the lace now on the website it does say hd transparent lace from the looks of it to me 
it is a transparent lace you know there's the transparent where you can't see and then there's that other transparent before the hd transparent invisible lace came out that was more or less basically for all skin tones or for lighter skin tones so that is what i'm feeling from this because it's not invisible but girl we just gonna you know finagle this the best we can and i'm just gonna cut the sides off you guys know because it's a tea part there isn't much parting space except for dead smack in the middle so you can always do a flip over method with it to kind of conceal the part if you don't want the part in the middle or you can kind of like slide the wig to the left or to the right it's your preference now this wig i do believe ran 100 and $28 I, I five if I remember correctly but don't get me to lying I'll definitely link everything below and because it's a tea part I'm not gonna get all crazy and start cutting baby hairs and all of that stuff and like parting on the sides because this is very limited parting so I'm trying to keep everything I've got plus you know sometimes that's just a lot to do so I'm just gonna be kind of like lazy lazy and I just sprayed a little bit of hairspray only in certain areas because I don't want the whole wig to be adhered to my head just where it won't flip up or slide back that's the reason why I put the hairspray right there but for the most part it's 18 inches it's 150 percent in density volume you can get it in 180 um, I'm just going to flip this wig over like I do like the part but I just wanted to just do something different because for one I'm not like the hugest fan of tea parts I'm always like one to have thought that a tea part wig is just strictly for synthetic wigs that's just me because when you you know you buy a human hair wig you want to to get the most out of it with this you still can because you can flip it over and don't mind a little bit of extras right here i'm definitely going to clean that hairspray up in that little area but because it's a tea part as you see i'm pulling out my own little side hairs because it's a tea part i wasn't able to cut over the ear flap part where that was kind of like over my ear because if i would have cut it i would have cut into one of the tracks so i kind of like pushed the wig back a little bit behind the ears so that way it could sit properly. Normally I would just cut the lace right over where my ear is at that extended over my ear, but because this is a tea part, I'm not I'm not able to do that. So I'm just gonna push it back a little bit just so that it'd be comfortable for me. And girl, go ahead and repeat those same steps on the opposite side. Now I'm just gonna take my water that has conditioner in it and I'm just going to wet the area up and kind of like, you know, brush around it. I don't want to get crazy with the baby hairs in this unit. I just really don't. But it is a deep wave and the volume is great on this unit. It's not that bad. The lace is not that bad because you do see it kind of does like, ah, uh, let's see get a little bit invisible there once it's applied right i did notice though with that particular hairspray if you dry it with the blow dryer after you you know while you're adhering it it kind of gives it this white flaky residue look so for me i've noticed that when you apply certain hairspray you have to just apply it without any heat so that way you don't get that filmy look and the got to be instant freeze i did notice that or instant hold whatever you want to call it that i just used i did notice that you will definitely want to just blow dry it or excuse me allow it to air dry and of course it's going to take a little bit more time but you can go in smaller sections now i said the lace was a little bit invisible but not enough for me so i'm just going to take some of my pressed powder and blend that into the unit and there you have it guys let me know what you think of miss lynn it's a decent length it's not long it's not overbearing and it's beginner friendly so I love you all. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up, and yeah, share it. And um, what else can I say? I don't really know. But I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next video.